Hello everybody and welcome to the esteemed Coconut M's house and we are going to play Dragon Age 2. Look at this man, he is so delicate. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go off. Now, we've got everybody up to max so we don't need to be bothered about like, who do we need to take that would agree with us? I believe they can't lose reputation now. So we're going to be taking Meryl. Not you. Um, Aveline's really good. And you. Let's do this. Uh, justice. Justice. So we'll... Um, do we want to... No, we want to do the on the loose. Not justice yet. Why are you still here, Varric? Hmm? Starkhaven's too pretentious for me and Cumberland's too boring. You always say you hate commitment, but here you are, six years later, still at Hawk's side. Daveline, I thought you'd have noticed by now. I lie a lot. <laughs> Right, okay, so we want you to... Oh no, we want this one. Yeah. Once again, going into the stamina tree. Oh, yeah, damage resistance. Way better. Okay, uh, let's see. How is your stats? Uh, equally good in everything, I think. So we're just going to... Do that, increase your critical strike a little bit, and then what was the thing here? Punch. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Let's go to loose ends then. Uh, I believe this is uh, Meredith. And this is probably going to be like... She's going to try and convince us to join her. This is quite interesting though. This is the first time that we've entered the... Uh, circle I believe. Yeah, here it is. Hello! God, no wonder everybody hates this place. It's so just boring and awful. Look at this place. It's like a prison. Oh, hello. This is a difficult time for Kirkwall. Yeah. Let me have a look at some of those documents. Have they got blood magic on them? Hmm? I don't trust you. If you didn't save my sister, I would have killed you already. Just remember that. Nice book. <laughs> but I honestly don't trust him since it's... I, I think it's because of the O. It's like, okay, whose name is O? And then you learn about the O in his name. And you're like, oh, he's the one. But we've seen this place. In, oh, hello. The night commander wishes to speak to you. Oh, is, she's a tranquil. Oh, I like the music, though. Meredith, it's a pleasure. Welcome. Uh, can I help? Uh, yeah, can I help? What is this urgent matter you spoke of? Hmm. Please, speak with me. There was an incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. Oh. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. Uh, tell me the incident. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? Yeah. An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape, uh. presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more difficult. Uh, you want me, you want my help. Can the Templars do it? Okay, 
What, my I'm hell? surprised you would turn to me. Yeah. We haven't always seen eye to eye. Precisely. I have asked you to track these fugitives so you might see for yourself what we Templars deal with every day. Fair enough. If you still think them worth our mercy, tell me then. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. I am relieved. I was expecting resistance after that debacle at the market. No. Talk to these mages' families. Learn where they are hiding and find them before they do harm. You will see that imprisonment or death is sometimes the only kindness we can offer. Speak to my assistant, Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. Hmm. I bid you good day, champion. Definitely glad I didn't bring Anders here. Oh my god, he would have had a field day. Good day, champion of Kirkwall. Good day. Right, Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. Oh. There are three of them. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. Yeah. Why does Meredith have a Tranquil assistant? The Knight Commander believes Tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. Yeah, is blood magic involved? Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. But okay. she does not know for certain. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. Right. Yeah, tell me about... I want to hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. His wife, Nisa, works for a dressmaker in Lowtown. Yeah. Have the Templars spoken to her? Yes. Nisa insists she has not seen Huon since he joined the Circle. Could Huon be hiding among the other elves in the alienage? The Templars' searches uncovered nothing. The Templars have also concluded that few other elves would risk hiding him. Huon was taken many years ago. Oh. Most of the alienage's inhabitants do not even know him. Okay. Tell me what you know about Emil. The second apostate is Emil de Lancey, fifth son of the Comte de Lancey. Out of High Town, some of our more vocal and delicate nobility. They are home in the evenings, authoring complaints. Right. What have they said to the Templars? The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emil since he was a child. Tell me about the family. What do you know about the Delancey's? Comte Guillaume de Lancey is a minor noble from Orlais. He and his wife came to the Free Marches over three decades ago. Emil was born in Kirkwall and sent to the Circle at age six. Okay. What do you know about Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the Circle in Ferelden. She was last right. seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown. Ferelden? How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the Circle. Mm. She presented herself to the first Enchanter on her arrival and asked to take her place here. That oh. doesn't sound like a fugitive. Anything else? Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent Blight survivors. Okay, nice scene. Did the Templars run into her in Darktown? Yes, they tracked her there, but she killed several pursuers. The what? Templars believe she is the most dangerous apostate. That's enough. I have all the information I require for now. Okay. Good luck on your search, Champion of Kirkwall. I feel so sorry for the people who made Tranquil. Like, it's not... I don't know. It seems a bit silly that people are put into that situation. I don't want people to have to sacrifice themselves. But some people are incredibly dangerous. And it should only be kept for those who are doing blood magic and killing people on a whim. Basically. Just doing it. I understand the evils of magic. These people should be punished. Not the entire... Everybody basically because some people for oh, I'll do strange. I always thought I'd wind up arresting you someday but if I oh. ever decide to get called Aveline, you'll be the guard. I let catch me Let catch you. Yep decide to get caught didn't trip you up though. <laughs> Good to know <laughs> All right, let's go do some merit of things I guess on the loose, um, 
Yeah, we'll go here first, Low Town. So one of them is incredibly dangerous, and the others are like minor, maybe. You're too quiet, Varric. Oh? I'm thinking of switching to romances. Nothing? Not even a foreboding frown. I am content. Write what you will. Well, that certainly takes the fun out of it. Contentment in the barracks? Who'll we'll pay to hear that shit? Then I should have thought of it years ago. Ha <laughs> ha Nice. Alright, so we now go over to here. Hello. Oh, greetings, Messer. Meryl, what are you doing here? Oh. We're here about Huon, Misa. Oh. Yeah. When the Templars came, I told them the truth. I hadn't seen Huon in ten years. Okay, but... but... after they left, he... He came to me. He wanted me to hide him. I used to dream of him returning. But not like this. He's changed, and I don't know him anymore. I sent him away. Okay, how did he change? Did he hurt you? Only broke my heart. Oh. I'm sorry. So you hadn't seen him since he left you? Huon didn't leave me. He was taken away. True. When the Templars found out he was a mage, they chained him and dragged him from the alienage in front of everyone. Now I'm trapped in this, this sham. Married, but with no husband and no future. I'm sorry. Yeah? Did you see him use any magic? Perhaps blood magic? Would she know it to see it? I... I don't know. I don't think he used magic on me. Okay. How has Huon changed? He was obsessed with showing everyone true elven power. He frightened me. Uh, yeah. Do you know where Huon went after you sent him away? I don't know. He disappeared. But, but Huon said he would return to take me away from this forever. A user, just looking for another handout. I don't know what he means, and I am afraid of him, Messer. Yeah? Would it help if I returned? I'll make sure you're safe. I would be grateful. Huon said he would come to the alienage soon, at nightfall. Are you are you going to arrest him? I think he needs help. Yeah. Maybe the circle will be able to heal whatever troubles him. I'm hoping so. But very unlikely. We shall see. I want to try the hanged man now. I want to try one thing first because I feel like I'm missing something. Single handedly saved oh, the never mind. <sighs> Making sure I'm keeping hydrated. That's an important thing to do in these times. It's cool enough now. <laughs> oh? Yes? Is it like you thought? It's nice, isn't it? He seems nice. Oh. Yes, he's very nice. I know, and you're so cute when you're with him. Not like normal you at all. Oh. Haven't you got something unholy to do? No, we're following Hawk. That's important too. <laughs> As long as I keep her by my side, she can't do the blood magic. <laughs> ah, click, 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 click. Gone the neck. The champion of is oh. A dozen and on a bed. Hello. Oh, he's got. A... He's got a black eye. Why is that Kunari? You. You're here. Good. Okay. I wanted to talk to you. Alright. Ah, you're still here. 
At least some things are constant in this ever-changing world. What? If you call me your rock or your foundation, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. Aww. Uh, I am as well. I couldn't help myself, yeah. I was drawn in by the intoxicating aroma of stale piss and vomit. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have my ship, I'll need a new crew. And I'd like to have someone like you on board. Someone I can really trust. Who has my back, no matter what happens. Uh, what about Meryl, yeah? I can't just leave Meryl. Then bring her along. A blood mage obsessed with mirrors is a useful thing to have on a ship. I just hate to have to say goodbye. You're the best friend I've had in... in a very long time. <laughs> oh. A toast. To friendship and to us. To us. And... and... She uses the Arashok skull as a gravy boat. I've something I think you might like. Yeah. Uh... I see. Yeah. It's from your homeland. It's a Ravani talisman. It's a Ravani fertility talisman. Ooh. These petal like shapes represent certain fleshy bits. Oh. And this protrusion is. Well, just look. You're an expert on Ravani talismans, are you? My mother was a Ravani seer. Or rather, she pretended to be. She knew enough about the old tribal practices to put on a convincing act. Oh. She used to hand these things out to women all the time. Wait. <laughs> oh, so, oh, I didn't see anything wrong. Oops, now I see it. Ah. Oh dear. <laughs> and all this time I thought it was just a flower. Ravani women would wear these so that their wombs would be fruitful and their marriages blessed with many children. Not that they worked, of course. <laughs> Seems to me you either have a fruitful womb or you don't. Oh. Thank you. It's nice to have something to remind me of my homeland. Of a vagina. Sorry, that was crude. Uh, but anyway, what were we looking at again? Oh, yeah. Where is it? Let's see what she's wearing at the moment. Night, come on. Uh, is she wearing it right now? Oh, okay. It's terrible. Please put back on the other thing, please. <laughs> it's too bad. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yep, nice. Nice. Okay. Awesome. We'll keep you around for a bit. Nonsense. <laughs> Meredith's the best thing that's ever happened to this city. A lot of people support Meredith, it seems. Even though people don't want to admit that she's doing a good job. I think that's the problem. She's a... She's the face of evil to everybody, basically, but she's just trying to do her job and maybe, like, blood... If people weren't committing the blood magic, like, 90% of the time, then maybe she would believe the people. Plus, she rejected the idea of doing the... Oh, hello.
do have to clear out this place eventually, but this is a good start. Nobody particularly low, not really. Ha! Oh! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> You're right there. Please don't notice me. Please don't notice me. Please don't notice me. Yeah, I saw you right there! <laughs> Some ambush. Meh, not a very good job. Hello, let's uh... Oh jeepers. Huan. Sacrifice will lead me to my destiny. The humans keep us down because they're afraid of the magic within us. <laughs> Look at the magic Lisa held inside her. She was just afraid to use it. You're gonna have to. Sorry, none of that is gonna fly with me, sorry. You go through me before anyone else. You're stunned, how can you the way? None of that, thank you. Oh, there it is! The boots of the champion! Amazing! Alright then. I think now, like, the helmet isn't until very later on. But I think, now that I've got the boots, I think I'll go for the DLCs after this, uh, getting this loose ends done. Because it sounds like uh, it'll give me some really important gear upgrades. Give me something that will be useful for the main story. We'll see. But for right now, let's search for more of these followers of She. See what they're up to. Look at me flapping my hands. Over oh, hello. Oh, you're still there. Things are heating up. It's a good time not to be a temple. Yep. Oh. Kunari sword. Oh, I need to hand in those Kunari swords. That's a lot of XP. Froze a little bit there. Just making sure. All right, we'll come back here later and clear out those guys. 
And now we go to night. High tone. Maybe talk with some nobles. behind us. That's a lot of blood! All these silvers equal up to gold! Evening, Captain. <laughs> Evening, Captain. I heard you fighting over there and I was like, I'm not joining in. No, 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 I'll just stand here and be useless. Some guard. It'd be nice if they, like, came in and started fighting, like... By the guard, I order you to stop. Or something like that. And then help you out with it. And it'd be like, ah, thanks for that. Instead of just being like... Yeah, I'm just picking my nose here. Don't mind me. Oh, I haven't actually technically talked to Fenris. Since after that incident. With his, uh, sister. Killing her and everything must be. Uh. He designed this city. These wide open spaces are terrible for evading guards. Ah, because of. Yeah. Let's have a little chat with you. Oh, we do have some stuff. Why did I think I talked to him? I don't know. We'll see. Hey there. You know, you could go anywhere you like now. Mm. I'm aware of that. Oh, you could become a raider. You could join my crew. Huh. The crew of your non-existent ship? Well, with that attitude, you're never going anywhere, are you? Isabella? Yeah. She doesn't understand. Yes, I am free. Daenerys is dead. Yet, it doesn't feel like it should. Yeah. You thought killing him would solve everything, but it doesn't. Hmm. I suppose not. I thought if I didn't need to run and fight to stay alive, I would finally be able to live as a free man does. But how is that? Whatever past I had died with my sister. I have nothing now. Not even an enemy. You have a future, yeah. Maybe that just means there's nothing holding you back. Hmm. An interesting thought. It's just... difficult to overlook the stain that magic has left on my life. If I seem bitter, it's not without cause. I understand. Perhaps it is time to move forward. I just don't know where that leads. Do you? You're still blaming magic for everything. Think about it, Hawk. Look at what happened to your mother, your sister, so many others. Is there anyone whose life has been touched by magic that actually benefits? Yeah, isn't that simple? Blaming magic isn't the answer. 
There are problems enough in this world without putting such power in the hands of those too weak to resist its allure. Them I fear, as should you, as should anyone. But what's important now is moving forward. I only wish I knew where that led. Yeah. That's the point, isn't it? You can do anything you like. The future of a slave is never uncertain. But I am no longer a slave. Yeah. Perhaps it is time I remember that. Thank you, Hawk. Of all the things I thought to find here, a friend was not one of them. Good. Wherever the future leads, I hope it is at your side. Same here, my friend. Whatever you need, I'm ready to assist. Awesome. I think, like... Oh, goodness me. We'll see. Oh yeah, we need to go outside. We just came in for a quick visit. Hello there! Hey, mage. Are you here? I would like to ask. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Bye!